Two. Good afternoon. I now call to order the meeting of the audit committee for June 22nd, 2021. The Board of Education's March 10th, 2020 resolution provided that in the event of a medical or health emergency related to COVID-19, the board chair in consultation with the vice chair and the superintendent may declare that a board meeting or a board committee meeting be held remotely in its entirety without the physical presence of board members, subject to the establishment of a mechanism that would allow each board member the opportunity to fully participate in the meeting despite not being physically present, and that would allow the public to also remotely attend those portions of the meeting that are open pursuant to the Maryland's Open Meeting Act by being able to listen and or view those portions of the meeting. Accordingly, today's audit committee meeting is being held virtually. It is also being broadcast through live stream on the BCPF's website. In order to efficiently conduct this meeting, all voting items this afternoon will be done by roll call. Board members will say their names before making or seconding a motion, as well as when requesting discussion on an agenda item. Additionally, as a courtesy to the committee, I ask that you inform Ms. Jamison if you must leave the call by using the Teams chat feature so that a quorum can be maintained. Ms. Jamison, would you please call the roll to determine the presence of a quorum of the committee? Thank you, Mr. Millian. I will start with Ms. Joes. Present. Ms. Pasteur. Present. Ms. Rowe. Present. Mr. McMillian. Present. Thank you. Ms. Jameson, please call the roll of the staff members participating in today's meeting. Thank you, Mr. McMillian. I will start with Ms. Barr. Present. Ms. Stevens. Present. Mr. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher. He was having some connection issues just recently. OK, Miss Mana. Present. Thank you. Are there any other attendees present that I did not recognize? Other than Eric Brusades. Thank you, Mr. Brusades. Hearing no additional names, I turn the meeting back to you, Mr. McMillian. OK, great. Thank you for the opening comments. I have no opening comments. We're going to move right along. Mr. Mercedes is here to advise the committee on the approval of the internal audit work plan. Mr. Mercedes, you may proceed. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, a, a question has arisen as to whether uh, the determination of the committee on the draft uh, work plan by internal audit goes to the board as a recommendation or whether the committee uh, makes final approval of, of that work plan. Uh, and when reading uh, various board policies together in conjunction with each other, such as policy 8400 and policy 8270, it's my view that the uh, determination of the committee, like all other committees, uh, goes to the board as a recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Mercedes. Are there any questions for Mr. Mercedes? I will call each member's name for this purpose. Ms. Pastor, any questions? No, Mr. McMillian, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Mercedes. Ms. Joes, any questions? No, no questions. Thank you, Mr. McMillian. Ms. Rowe, any questions? I have one question. Mr. Mercedes, can you advise whether or not the deliberation of the work plan happens in closed or open session. I haven't seen the work plan itself. Uh, my initial reaction would be that it would be in. Uh, you, you mean before this committee or before the full board? Uh, both or either. I, I think it could be considered in that administrative function so that it could be uh, uh, deliberated in closed session, but final action reported in open session. I'd like to comment. I've been engaged in numerous conversations about that, and I was told that it could be done either way in closed session or open session. Uh, any Mr. any comments, Mr. Mercedes? There, there's nothing that would prohibit it from being done in open session that I can think of. Uh, and again, I, if it could it be done in closed session, I think it could be done in closed session. Closed session, 
as an administrative function that wouldn't be subject to the act. Okay, and we attempted to do that last time, but there was some confusion, so we made the decision to call another meeting and do it in the open session. Ms. Rowe, would you like to comment? Um, I would just like to know if there's any particular reason why we shouldn't do it in open session. I mean, does do audit Office of Internal Audit staff, does anyone have any any particular concerns about deliberating and voting in open session on this item? I've seen it. It doesn't nothing in it seems like something the public can't know. Ms. Barr, would you like to comment on that? Uh, yes, I concur with the comments that Mr. Brusades made with respect to um, original deliberations and discussion in closed or administrative function. As you explained and expressed before, we have gone um, and done it in, in both ways, in both manners, in both fashions, in closed and in open session. So it just depends on the year and the um, and the the chair and the um, committee chair. So it's happened both ways. As Mr. Brusades said, there's nothing to preclude it from being held in administrative function. And so um, again, deliberations, I feel, is operations, internal operations of the committee and uh, any types of questions that will come up that may uh, touch on subjects that are confidential in nature or related to personnel matters, things of that nature may come up, which would have made us go into administrative function. So um, although there weren't very many questions and much discussion related to the plan this year, there may have been. And again, I have been advised year after year that it could occur in open or in administrative function. So I agree with the comments that Mr. Brusades made. Any additional questions? If there are no further questions, I will entertain a motion to recommend to the Board of Education that the FY22 Office of Internal Audit Work Plan be approved. So, so moved, bro. Uh, second. Oh, sorry. The motion is on recommending to the full board that the Office of Internal Audit Work Plan for FY22 be approved. When your name is called, please say aye. If you wish to approve the plan, please say no. If you do not wish to recommend that the board approve the plan. Ms. Jameson, may I have a roll call vote, please? Ms. Joes? Aye. Ms. Pastor? Yes. Ms. Rowe? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Four in favor, thank you. The ayes have it and the motion carries. The Office of Internal Audit Work Plan will be moved forward for the Board of Education approval. Are there any further business for the committee? Ms. Joes? No, Mr. McMillian, thank you. Ms. Pastor? Thank you. Ms. Rowe? No, sir, thank you. Because there's no further business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much for a smooth transition here, and I hope everyone has a wonderful summer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Mercedes.